Good day everyone, what flies? Well, welcome back to another Thursday trip report. Today I'm going to fly Virgin Australia from Melbourne Terminal 3 to Adelaide with Virgin Australia in economy class. Now let's go check in and mask up because it's now mandatory to wear a mask when you are going to the airport terminal here in Victoria, but funny enough you don't have to wear it uh, on the plane, but it's strongly recommended. Actually, if you wonder why I look so messy, like I always do, and sweaty, that's because I rushed all the way from Melbourne City to here. I almost forgot that I have a flight to catch today. I, I like Melbourne so much, I'm like enjoying it. I'm so into it. And yeah, almost got, almost missed my flight, almost uh, late for checking, but thankfully, my flight's um, half an hour delayed. And on the app, it says because uh, the flight's arriving late into Melbourne. So also that means that I have, a, I have the chance to actually visit the lounge, which I thought I wouldn't have. So now let's go check in and visit the lounge. So I'm now at Virgin Australia check-in in Melbourne Terminal 3. It looks a little bit festive here, a Christmas tree there and staff wearing Christmas hats. When you fly Virgin Australia, you can check in online or use one of those self check-in kiosks. And then if you have a bag to drop off, you can move on to one of those bag drop kiosks. After you've checked in, you need to go downstairs for security and your lounge access. Virgin Australia has their flagship Melbourne lounge here. Unfortunately, it's been closed for months due to COVID and now it's closed due to renovation. But fortunately, Virgin Australia has opened up the club lounge here for the general public, those flying in business class and also frequent flyers. According to the executive traveller, the club membership is reserved for the airline's most highly valued passengers, oh, including A-list celebrities, CEOs, and those with a great deal of input over a company's travel policies. Membership in the club can only be granted by the CEO of Virgin Australia, and the membership lasts for only two years. We're not exactly in the lounge yet, but it already looks really good. It reminds me of the wing in Hong Kong. Thanks, yourself. Welcome to Virgin Australia. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you'd open Ferrari. Right. Welcome to Timber. Hand painted Japanese tiles. Yeah. And our bathroom is just in here. And the world famous. Wow. The world famous bathrooms. So that's uh, a setup of all the um, bathroom for the children. Yeah. And of course, your coat hook. <laughs> oh my god. And then... Oh wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, really nice bathroom. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got another coat hook here. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Right. Yeah. Behind, I think. <laughs> okay, no? Yeah, got it, got it. And then... Yeah, that's really nice. We had two many rooms, now they've been set up as... Um, just a dish of seating yeah. food and beverage. Mm. So this was the original pound when it's like 20 people in. Wow. Wow. Uh, so Another one. one. In there. Yep. <laughs> Five pods with personal space. Right. So a lot of our politicians used to use those. Mm. And um, it's kind of the lounge seating here now. Um, the original dining um, setup. Yeah. As well as um, the bar. So everything's now served food and bed through the main oh. entry there. And we have an entry off the So that's an original curbside entry. Right. In front of the building, you can come straight there. And you check in there. And you can check wow. in there, in the original. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. And the unique um, leaf design. Yeah. <laughs> um, with the windows all above, because we have got air conditioned ducts at the back mm. of um, the building. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Thank you. I was getting a little bit of um, food and beverage menu. Um, chips and sandwiches and things like that at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. After the exclusive lounge tour, Brad gifted me two pens and a notepad with the Virgin Australia flying logo in it, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm now at a buffet area. You can point out to the staff what you want. Here they've got some crisp and sandwich and also fruits. They've also got a bar here. You can get water, juice, coffee and tea, and of course some alcohol. All the food here is carefully wrapped to adhere to the local government regulations. I got an email here regarding to the delay and a bunch of YouTube notifications. So there's still some time before departure so I decided to get another drink. This time I got English tea and the amount of milk is so okay. There was one time in the Qantas lounge I got an English tea and it was completely white. So Brad just gave me a very brief lounge tour which I really appreciate and now I'm going to do a very detailed shower room tour. Uh, I think uh, you can't use the shower but you can certainly use the toilet here. As you can see it's really bright here. Uh, the details, the colours, I think it's really vibrant, bright and beautiful. Hunter products, I think it's a local Melbourne brand. The toilet mirrors everywhere, very beautiful. And the shower space, it's, oh my god, beautiful. Showers are available. Cook. So I just said goodbye to Brad and his amazing colleagues at the Virgin Australia The Club Melbourne Lounge. They totally made me feel like an A-list celebrity there. And now it's time to go through security and into the air side to catch my flight back to Adelaide. Here's our aircraft of the day. It's a three-year-old Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel Yankee Foxtrot Zulu. A lot of aircraft actually arrived late into Melbourne today and I believe it was due to the weather. I'm now at a gate and the flight is looking pretty full. Hello. Good. Yourself? Good. 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 Good.
I stole this tiny bottle of water from a previous flight with Qantas. 30 inches leg room is okay. You've got no power outlet down there. Every seat comes with a soft, comfortable, adjustable headrest. This evening's one hour, eight minutes. My name's Aaron. I'll be on board later on this evening's flight. Complimentary wireless in flight entertainment system is available on this aircraft. For this to work on your own device, just make sure you download the version of Australia app before you close the last cabin door here in Melbourne. As part of our commitment to keep flying safe and comfortable, Virgin Australia requires that you wear a face mask for the duration of the flight, including when you disembark in Adelaide, and a hygiene kit is given to you here in the airport containing a face mask and hand sanitizer wipe. If you didn't collect one of these, it just ask the crew. Please take any use mask and wipes with you when you leave the aircraft this evening and dispose of those items by safely holding them into the Ziploc bag we also get you here in Melbourne. Once again, it's great to have all of you on board down for Adelaide. Thank you. Welcome on board, everyone. Once again, on board BA 243 down, uh, shortly down for Adelaide on our one hour and 10 minute flight. My name's Aaron, I'll be on board later. Complimentary wireless and flight entertainment system is available on this flight. For this to operate on your device, just make sure you've downloaded the version of Australia app before I close the last cabin door, which is in a few moments. As part of our commitment to giving flight and cabin crew, arm doors and cross check. They've dimmed the bright white cabin light but switched on the mood lighting for takeoff. Thanks, crew seats for takeoff. Registration. 
Immigration Advisor South Australia for its website, please proceed to an authorised officer on our arrival. As per South Australian health requirements, please ensure face masks are worn when we disembark the aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, considering the circumstances in Sydney uh, as we speak, just make sure you have all of this information ready to go for the authorities. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from your crew on this one hour eight minute flight through to Adelaide. You now have access to the flight entertainment. We now invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you. So the crew has just mentioned about the Virgin Australia Entertainment app and I'll show you how to use it. So first of all you will need to connect to the Wi-Fi on board, unfortunately you won't get internet access on today's flight. And then go back to your homepage and then open up that app you just downloaded. And remember to download that before you take off because you can't download that using the Wi-Fi. In the app you'll find plenty of movies, TV shows and there's even a category called for short flights which is suitable for a flight like this one an hour long I just randomly picked a Star Wars movie to show you the resolution and the speed so the movie takes like 10 seconds to load but once after that everything is really quick and smooth the video quality is also pretty high We've just broken through even more clouds and the view today is looking absolutely gorgeous. We can see the sun from this side of the cabin, so we'll see the sunset happening as we go. For your other entertainment, there's now no magazines in your seat pocket for hygiene reasons. That's just a temporary measure, but who knows, it could be permanent on all airlines. So I brought my own book to read. And because it's a short flight, the cabin crew aren't wasting time and they begin the service right away. Here's the meal today, a pack of nuts. For the drinks, Virgin Australia has recently brought back the juice service, but unfortunately it's not available on this particular flight. Even during the service, the cabin crew is taking extra care to the passenger with special needs. Thank you. For the remainder of the flight, I was just looking over the window for the amazing sunset, which in my opinion, it's the best entertainment on board. Within that entertainment app, you can see where you currently are with the in-flight map system. We'll soon be landing into Adelaide Airport, so let's quickly conclude this final flight of mine in 2020 right here, right now. Let's begin at the airport. Once you enter the terminal, remember that you have to wear your mask. Check-in was really easy. Not many people are flying yet, so the queues were short. If you're a Virgin Gold or Platinum frequent flyer and or flying in business class, you'll have access to the Melbourne The Club Lounge. 
Normally you would only have access to the public lounge, which is the Virgin Australia lounge. And the Virgin, the club lounge, is a private one for celebrities, politicians, etc, etc. And the reason that they've opened up the club lounge for the general public right now is because the normal lounge is currently under renovation and it should reopen really soon. So if you want access to the club, you better hurry up. My first thumbs up today goes to Brad, the lounge concierge, and his amazing colleagues at the Melbourne The Club Lounge. The lounge itself is also really beautiful, but do keep in mind that the food that was offered today is not what Virgin Australia normally serves. There's now a limited food and beverage offering due to COVID. Once on board, the cabin crew gave us a warm welcome. The crew today were really, really nice, and I think that they're Adelaide based because the customer service manager, every time he mentions about Adelaide, he would say, Oh, Adelaide, known for great wine and beaches, and lovely city of Adelaide, oh, beautiful Adelaide. He's like so proud of Adelaide. The crew in economy class took excellent care of the young passenger with a special need. Before takeoff, the passenger requested the crew to have someone to sit next to her so that passenger could have someone to chat with. And luckily, the cabin crew have managed to find another passenger who was happy to sit next to that passenger with special needs. Throughout the flight, they talked a lot. The cabin crew kept coming by as well. And it's great to see how friendly and caring Australians can be. And also at one point of the flight, a young passenger, probably four years old, in business class wanted to go to the lavatory. So the customer service manager walked him all the way to the lavatory back in economy class because someone was using the one in business class. And that kid got really cheeky. The customer service manager actually carried him back to business class and that was really cute. The only thumbs down I'm going to give today is the catering on board today. I understand that they haven't brought back the hot beverages service back in economy, but if they promised some juice on board, I do really expect that. And I didn't quite like the nuts that was offered today. Not only it was a tiny portion, it didn't taste great in my opinion. Like usually they serve tiny meals already like muesli bars and mini cookies, but they usually were a bit more filling than the nuts. Finally, for your information, I paid 95 Australian dollars for this one-way flight from Melbourne to Adelaide and that includes everything from check-in baggage and also seat selection. Now, thank you so much for watching this trip report. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you're loving this amazing skyline of Adelaide, where I live. And here we are, One What Flies Squad. When you fly again, please don't forget to tag me with this special hashtag on Instagram so I see where your journey is taking you. And please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and share this video with your aviation friends. Each and every of your action will help the growth of my channel. Also, I upload a new video every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. That's 2.30 in Adelaide and 3pm in Melbourne. So if you haven't subscribed or clicked that bell button, you are missing out so much. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. I update on those social media quite regularly. You can also support my channel through Patreon or YouTube membership. I do really, really appreciate your kind support. Now enjoy the short taxi to the terminal and I'll see you next week in another new video. And sorry, no Q&A this week. Bye bye.
please remember to uh, maintain a safe distance between yourself and others as you disembark the aircraft and throughout inside the terminal. To comply with South Australian biosecurity regulations, all fresh fruit, vegetables, honey, plant seeds and other plant products must be disposed of in the biosecur biosecurity bins located inside the terminal. We'll be leaving through the forward and the rear doors and we'll be refuelling. Smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is not allowed on the tarmac throughout inside the terminal. If they're close by, you can now use your handheld devices with flight mode turned off. Just make you comfy. Have a great disarm doors and cross check. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.